So the resolution of Dynamesh is actually tied to the scale of your object. So here you can see I have an object that's very, very small. ZBrush likes to work in a unit size of roughly two. But if this is going to be really small like this, if I increase my Dynamesh resolution to the maximum here and I hit Dynamesh, you can see even though I started off with 200,000 polygons, the maximum I'm going to get is 400,000. And there's nothing else I can do, no matter how, I, how often I Dynamesh, I can't get past that number. So the way to fix that is to change the scale here. So you could type it in manually, but then you're obviously not going to get the right um, ratio of sizes. So the easiest way to fix this is to go down to deformation and use this, the size slider here to increase it until you get to the size that you want. So if I press shift, I can see both of these at the same time. And you can see this is still too small. So I'm going to increase it again until I get up to around two. So this one here is very close to two. So now at that size, I keep the same Dynamesh resolution as before. And you can see this is now four and a half million polygons. So now we're getting the resolution that we are, we're looking for, or we could have less if we wanted to. If this isn't the size though, if you have other sub tools and you wanted them all to be the same size, you can just, you know that you've updated this three times. So you can size it back down three times to be the same size as it was originally. And you know that it's going to fit, but you still have your four and a half million polygons for whatever sculpting detail you might be doing on it. So I hope this tip helps. And as usual, like, subscribe, comment, all that usual YouTube guff. All right, cheers, bye.